The City of Cheyenne Ice and Event Center is home to the Cheyenne Stampede Hockey Team and to approximately 800 enthusiastic fans. Hi, I'm Mark Lance, the General Manager and Owner of the Cheyenne Stampede. I'm often asked, why did I bring a junior hockey team to Cheyenne, Wyoming? My answer, why not? It's a great small town. We have fantastic sponsors. We have a great crowd base and everything continues to grow. On an average night, we end up with five to 800 fans in the stands cheering on the Stampede. Most of our players have never even played in front of five to 800 fans before on a regular basis. We built the Stampede on a professional foundation. So as you continue viewing this video, please check out all the different amenities and services that are offered to our players. Our main mission with the Cheyenne Stampede is to advance your player, your son, to the next level in hockey, whether that be NA, the USHL, D1, D3. That is the mission of the Cheyenne Stampede, is to advance your player. Hi, I'm Marty Quarters, head coach of the Cheyenne Stampede. We're members of the Western States Hockey League. We're a junior A hockey team. We have players ages 16 to 20 years old on our team. The goals of our players are to play at the Cheyenne Stampede junior A level, and they use this level to try to get to either a higher level at tier two or play in college hockey. The reason that players choose to play in Cheyenne for the Stampede and the Western States Hockey League are to help themselves get exposure, develop their hockey skills, and give them the ability to either play at a higher level of junior hockey or play at the university level. The Cheyenne community is an awesome hockey community. Um, we have some nearby hockey teams, so everyone here is kind of starting to get excited about it. And this newly uh, newly born Cheyenne Stampede program um, has been a hit. We uh, we pack the house with fans. Um, typical home games are awesome. I mean, the atmosphere is just fantastic. Everyone here is getting pumped when we're playing, so it's great. <laughs> good things about this program going into it, uh, new coaching staff, and I wanted to uh, get better as a player, and I think that this is the place where you can move on to the next level. So D, you can't be lackadaisical if we're getting forward check. You gotta sprint, and then you gotta take ice. And if there's no one open, what is always safe? Glass. Glass. Glass.
All right, between periods and games, uh, coach would usually come in right after the period and give us a little speech and let us know what we could have done better that period and what we can do to improve at the next period. And then he'll leave and give us some time to ourselves and we'll uh, make sure that the team doesn't get too high or get too low. And then we'll, uh, we'll break it down with the boys and we'll, we'll get fired up and go out for the next period. One of the ways that the Western States Hockey League has been so beneficial in helping these players achieve these goals is our showcase at Christmas time. We have over 60 college coaches in attendance scouting our players. Also with playing three game weekends helps our, our players become battle tested and help for the grind of playing college hockey. Go, go, go. One of the strengths of the Western States Hockey League is we are covered by Fast Hockey. They cover all our games and they have a live stream for every game we play, on the road or at home. This enables our players to go in and watch how they're doing, how they're developing. It also helps the coaches break down video to, so we can work on improving our strengths and weaknesses. Another great avenue of Fast Hockey is it enables college recruiters to go on and watch our games and be able to recruit players off of what they see in fast hockey. The Cheyenne Stampede has helped me the most in talking to new new coaches um, for college and for juniors and just moving to the next level, getting to where I want to be. It's also helped me with life, um, just getting stronger in my day-to-day -day life and everything else. Or no, I'm just mm -hmm. ending them out. You're looking at the ending them out. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's okay. right. So tangent of your angle. I'm Trevor Zakrajshek, I'm a forward for the Cheyenne Stampede, and I'm currently in study hall right now with my teammates and our tutor, Mrs. Castle. Um, we have study hall twice a week from 7 to 8, and we work on various subjects like math, science, art. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to. I need to. I have to go for Spanish anyway, so I think I'm going for like first period. I am Heath Lance, forward for the Cheyenne Stampede. Currently, I'm working on math right now in Saudi Hall. Uh, it's really important to keep our grades up on the Stampede. Uh, we have to have an above C average. Uh, if we don't get above that average, we'll go on academic uh, suspension, is what they call it, and then uh, we won't be able to play, you know, that weekend or until we get our grades up again. So uh, it's really important to do that. And then also, you have to have a high score for a SAT and ACT if you're looking to play college hockey. Perfect. You know, they really look at those things, so you gotta be book smart and hockey smart also. What are you working on? Oh, there's your formulas yeah, right here. Huh? What's that? Oh, formula. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy Castle. I'm the education coordinator for the Stampede hockey team here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Um, I am a 20 year veteran teacher. I teach high school mathematics here in Cheyenne. Um, I really enjoy working with these young men um, at the Stampede Hockey. Um, we have study hall a couple times a week. I monitor their grades. I monitor their attendance. Um, I help them out. Um, with their studies, so if they have questions, we proctor test if they if their teachers want to send their test if they miss school. Um, we do homework. We make sure that they are prepared for their courses for the next day um, or the the week. Um, we also. Uh, work with them on their ACT skills. Um, that's an important part of going on to college. Most of these young men are headed to college in the next few years, and we want to make sure their ACT score is high enough to make them eligible to um, attend the college of their choice so that they can choose to play hockey or continue their academic career.
We have a lot of high school kids on the team and all of them go to the same school, so they're all together. And uh, they, they, they get a lot of kids from their school to come to the games and impact the school like that. And um, our kids that are out of high school that are playing for us, like myself, we, uh, most of us have a job. And I currently work at uh, Sierra Trading Post in the morning, so I wake up every morning, go to work uh, till about 12.30, and then I come to the rink. We go to practice, and then we have gym afterwards. We have a pretty extensive gym program every day. It's, it's nice we have our own trainer, and the whole team works out together, and, uh, and, then, and then we're done for the day. Practices are pretty intense. Um, Coach Quarters likes to run a high-tempo practice where we're always moving our feet, we're always passing, we're always talking. And the facilities here are second to none. There's no other team in this league that I know of that has a nicer facility than us. Another avenue is our off-ice program at Smart Sports. Here we go, five seconds. 30, 40, 50. Okay, bicycles. All together now. Ready? Let's Begin. take them kind of slow. One, two, three. You guys are quiet. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, just regular box, box jump. Eight, eight, eight. Let's cut rocks, right? I'm Dr. Skip Ross, and I'm the physician for the Stampede. Um, I'm board certified in family practice and sports medicine, and I own Smart Sports where they come and we, we train the kids. We, have, we start with uh, physicals for the, for the boys, and we do physicals, and then we impact test each kid to, um, to see where they are and make sure they're, make sure they're healthy and safe, and, then, and to get a baseline. And then we go from there, we, we have them training in the, in the training center. My job is more taking care of them if they get hurt. Um, I've had 20 years experience of sports medicine coverage, covering mostly rodeo, bull riding, some surfing, football, uh, MMA, and, and then hockey. I want the parents to know we have an open door policy and I'm more than happy to visit with anyone about their kid if, they get, if one of the boys gets hurt. Um, we're in communication as needed and to help expedite and get kids taken care of. Um, look forward to seeing your, your kids coming because uh, we have a great time here. I'm Teresa Card. I'm a physical therapist and I work at Smart Sports Medicine and I also work with the Cheyenne Stampede in providing medical services and athletic training services to the team. I provide services here and at the rink. We provide therapy services as well as rehab services in order to get the players back on the rink as soon as possible. I'm doing an ultrasound on a quad because he was hit in the quad and had um, another hit right after that and it tightened up to the point of pain. And we are now with massage as well as with ultrasound trying to decrease that pain and tightness. We are also the only team in the Junior Hockey League that has the impact testing for concussions. Each player is, before the season starts, takes the test for a baseline. If any player is hurt or has a concussion, 
then after they are symptom free, they have to retake the test again. It helps us learn to wear parts of them that may be still having problems. Uh, memory, it's a short term memory. There's some vision, there is um, speed with it. And so when they take it the second time, or even the third time, we can relay back to the baseline and see what kind of changes are happening. And like I said, thanks to Dick's Sporting Goods Foundation, we have this test and we do every player who comes in. A daily routine for our players on game day consists of 11 o'clock meeting at a.m. Here at the rink, we usually have a pregame skate at 12 o'clock, and then the players report back at five o'clock. We have a meeting an hour and a half before game time. The players stretch, prepare for warm-ups, and then we usually have another meeting before we hit the ice. We always list our keys to victory. We put up the strengths and weaknesses for the other team so we can prepare for our weekend. Our youth program is also a big key to our success. One, it helps our fan base. The second thing is a lot of the players in our youth program's families are our billet families and host families for our players. Our players are assigned teams to help out and they help in the evening on ice and off ice with our players. Hello, I'm Tammy Lance, one of the owners of the Cheyenne Stampede and also the billet coordinator. I'm in a unique situation to be the billet coordinator as my oldest son moved away to play junior hockey and he billeted with a family. So going through those experiences, I understand a lot of the questions that the parents and the players have and some of the anxieties that they may be going through. As a parent, you always want your child to move away to achieve their goals and dreams, but you also want to make sure that they're in good hands. So we at the Cheyenne Stampede make sure that they're going to be with a family that is safe, that's going to be make sure that they're a part of the family, and make sure that they're happy where they're staying. Matching a player and a billet family can sometimes be a challenge. All Cheyenne Stampede players fill out a billet family questionnaire, and they have personal information such as their hobbies, what they like and what they don't like, if they have any pet allergies or food allergies. Then I take that information and compare it with the billet families and I try to find a good match. Any family interested in billeting a Cheyenne Stampede player can download an application and the billet handbook from our website. As billet coordinator, I review all applications, meet with the families, and tour their homes. We discuss the responsibilities and expectations of being a billet family and I always ask myself, would I want my son to stay there? I don't think I've been alone. It's like seven years. In the house, yeah. The Bartow family in North Cheyenne is the billet family for Thane Trumbull of the Cheyenne Stampede. Come get me. Never did. And I never did. I think that's the Bill of Rights. I thought the Declaration of Independence was in Philadelphia. There are always four answers. One is definitely wrong, but there are two that are both right. One is just more right than the other one, and I never get very good at that. Trevor's will be coming over tomorrow. Okay, peanut butter and jelly? 3.30. Okay. Suzanne Bartow describes the experience of hosting a young hockey player. My name's Suzanne Bartow, and my husband Larry and I have a billet son, Thane Trumbull, from this year's Cheyenne Stampede game, uh, team. And we were billet families last year. We had two players last year. We learned about becoming billet families from the Cheyenne Stampede's website. And then we also talked to other billet families in the first half of last year's season before we picked up being a billet family in the second half of the season. We wanted to be a billet family because our son's an only child. And we thought that it would be a great experience for him to see the hard work, the dedication of these young men as they follow their dreams. Plus, we also wanted to provide a safe, secure, stable environment for these young adults as they work hard, go to school, play hockey, and they're working extremely hard to meet this goal, this dream that they have set for themselves, but they need a support system, and we thought we could provide that in our home. 
um, our son or sons, if we have to, are responsible for keeping their bedrooms and their bathrooms clean. We try to create an environment where they're a member of our family and not a guest in our home. I think the most important thing is to create an environment where the boys know that they're part of our family, that we're here to share in their joys, their sorrows, their happiness, their injuries, their pain, their girl problems, their coach problems, their, their homesickness, because no matter how old you are or how tough you think you are, everybody gets homesick. Um, we're a family. We're a family that laughs together, cries together, jokes around, plays practical jokes on each other, and we just have a good time. And they don't feel like an outsider, somebody intruding on your life. They actually feel that you're a part of their life and that they're a part of yours. We have somebody else's son in our home and we wanna know their parents and what are their values and what are their standards and expectation. We know what the standards and expectation of the team is, but what does the family want us to provide their son as he becomes part of our family? Uh, yeah, my host family is great. The Bartles are a great family. They're here to do anything and everything I need pretty much. They're great. They do a lot for me and I feel very comfortable in this house. So yeah, it's, it's great so far. I'm Thane Trumbull. I'm from Casper, Wyoming, and I'm a forward on the Cheyenne Stampede. Nice coming out. First time in Cheyenne. I like it a lot. I like the atmosphere. Um, it's fun to play with all this rowdy crowd out here. I like it a lot. When not playing a home game, the Stampede travels in this tour bus to their game destination. The bus is equipped with sleeping quarters as well as essential audio and video components that allow the team to study game film while traveling. The Cheyenne Stampede honors the long-lasting hockey tradition of the Teddy Bear Toss. The fans purchase the stuffed animals before the game and then throw them onto the ice immediately following the first goal scored. Bears are collected from the ice rink and then donated to local police and fire departments to give to traumatized children. One of the things that makes us so strong in our program is our community service and also the community backing that we receive with our team. Our players are active in the community as well as the coverage that we receive from the media here. It helps our players get used to talking in front of a camera, doing our radio shows, and also helping with the youth program. These are all benefits in developing our players, not just for the next level, but help them become good citizens. Uh, every player has a role in, uh, in the community and we all help out. Uh, personally, I, I coach a Bantam team, that's U14, and uh, my little billet brother, who I live with, is on the team, and uh, every night on the weeknights from nine to, or eight to nine, I help out and coach them and stand on the bench for the games and it's a, it's a great feeling, it's fun. Uh, we're 10 and 0, so we're pretty good, but uh, nah, it's great giving back to the community and helping out. One of the things that we preach in our office, in our locker room, is having good character. We use this through, through hockey. One of the reasons that the players, when they leave us, are so well developed is they have to be so active in the community and doing other things. We think that hockey is an avenue on how to be a good person and a good citizen for later in life.
Um, the coaching staff has helped me a lot with uh, my on-ice abilities and uh, what stands out more is how they've taught me how to act better off the ice and be more involved with the community. Moving away from home is a really big step, it's difficult, but when you come into a community like Cheyenne, everyone here is really friendly. We have uh, the Capitals program, which gives us somebody to talk to, connect with, and help out. Hello, I'm Ty Smith. I'm the assistant coach and director of scouting for the Stampede. As assistant coach, one of my main parts of my job is running the defense. What I look for in a defenseman is skating ability, passing ability, vision, and defensive concepts. Whether you have good gaps, uh, make sure you don't cross over, things like that. When scouting for players, I look at character, competing levels, and future goals. In recruiting players for our hockey team, we look for character first and foremost. On the hockey side, we look for strong skaters, smart hockey players with good hockey sense, and players that compete. The compete level is very high and very important with inside our locker room, and it is probably the deciding factor in picking players for our team. For more information about the Stampede organization, or to start the process of joining the Cheyenne Stampede, visit our website at CheyenneStampede.com or check us out on Facebook. It's not just all about hockey, it's, uh, it's about helping out, giving back to your community and being a good person and being able to make a difference in wherever you end up living. Uh -huh.